Uh, just a minute, gotta pause this. Peggy Sue, listening to by Blink 182. Good song, one of their best songs. Uh, it's not to be confused with Peggy Sue by Buddy Holly, which is also a great song, but. Let's do a quick uh, recap, weekly training recap. It'll be a new kind of series, a little summary. I mean, I'll still keep doing like trail running vlogs, OQQ vlogs, what I eat in a day vlogs, as well as all the informative content, training, running form, you name it, what you guys want to hear about. Uh, so be sure to subscribe for more of these videos. But uh, all right, so hopefully the wind isn't too bad. There's a little bit of a cross breeze here. Uh, I was looking at Strava here. So last week, this past week, today's June 4th, so we're looking at the previous seven days coming off of Zagama. Uh, didn't run very much because of Zagama and the travel. Wanted to respect the recovery after that mountain marathon. I think about 50 miles a week, 47.6 miles. It's like 80K about, I think. 13,000 feet of climbing though. Uh, so over, I think that's about 4,000 feet of climbing. I'll do the metric conversion there, but decent climbing. Basically, I'll give you a rundown day by day. Race Agam on Sunday, tough mountain marathon. Obviously did a recap on that. Took the next day off, totally off. Monday, it was kind of a travel day. Went back to Madrid. Uh, Want to respect the recovery after a, a tough race like that. Less beat up than compared to a road marathon. Uh, just because you don't have the pavement pounding. You don't have the high velocity running. But, uh, it's uh it doesn't beat you up as much because it's soft surfaces and different using different muscles technical trail muddy trail that being said you still get really dehydrated there's a lot of stress four hour plus race for me a lot of stress mental anguish from the fatigue so you have to respect the recovery process your hormonal balance changes like that and the travel I took monday off tuesday had a morning flight out of madrid back to the u.s so Another long travel day. I did wake up early though, and I ran on the treadmill in the gym. Uh, 20 minutes shakeout, just a little jog at, I think it was 12% incline, 10% incline. It's got a thousand feet of climbing in there. 20 minutes, just real slow, relax, get the blood flowing, things like that. All right, so then I was back in Boulder, trying to adjust the jet lag. Still pretty beat up, I'm not gonna lie. My legs do get sore after racing a mountain marathon uh, and all the cumulative fatigue from Copenhagen, of course, on uh, the travel, sleep deprivation. Uh, just the travel in general, but ran a 9.3 miles up a mountain, uh, Flagstaff or Green, 1,300 feet of climbing, just real relaxed, easy climbing basically for these mountain runs. Looking on Strava here. Next day, even more climbing. I went up Green, backside of Green Mountain here in Boulder. You can see it over there. Uh, this one on the right. And uh, did 10 miles, 10.6 miles, uh, 3,300 feet of climbing. So. About a thousand meters of climbing over 17k uh so I felt a little sore though still feeling a little sore uh the next day friday uh what was that the first yeah no the second confusing my days here i did uh i actually did my first quality workout back just a real short stimulus though 12 times one minute uphill this is a pretty steep uphill it's uh starts off at 20 percent grade so it's more power reps just to wake up the fast switch muscle fibers, wake up the climbing legs, get good running form, firing, and spike the heart rate and breathing. I uh, had my wrist strap on, but that's not good heart rate data. Uh, so this was kind of a stimulus for that. Walk back down, recovery, three minute rest. So not a killer hill session, right? You can make that as hard as you want. If you sprint really hard and limit the rest, you get a lot of lactic acid buildup. It's really painful. It was still kind of painful, but high intensity, one minute reps. We're gonna extend that to four or five minute reps later on, as well as uphill tempos and mountain long runs, mainly for mountain long marathon, up and downhill. Uh, but just shake out jog after that, real easy five miles on this path. Here, nice and flat, relaxed, still feeling beat up though. Definitely sore in the hamstrings and calves, quad muscles tired, things like that. Oh yeah, it's about 90 degrees out. This is what I need right now though. Sorry for the wind noise too, guys. 
The GoPro here does not have an external microphone jack, so I can't put a mic on this. So we're at the mercy of this east headwind here. Try not to screw up the audio too much. It's sounds pretty bad. Slow down here, it creates less of a headwind. So the next day after that, Saturday, it's a beautiful day like this. I was really lame. Went to the gym, went inside to the treadmill, treadmill, cranked it up on 12% incline for two miles, 15% incline for two miles, then 12% incline. Average incline of 13% grade for six miles. Did it pretty easy, 65 minutes run. So that's a, it's a slow pace, it's over 10 minute mile pace, uh, but over 4,000 feet of climbing, 4,100 feet of climbing if you do the simple math on that. So, you know, really good. I'm just gonna stop here so you could hear uh, what I'm saying. Then Sunday, uh, we were out in uh, Golden Gate outside of Golden, Colorado, up at altitude, jogging around. Watching Sandy do a tune-up race workout uh, and just jogged around easy eight miles about, but at altitude uh, on some nice trails, got in a little climbing there. So yeah, good week overall. It was, it was low mileage though, it was low mileage. Uh, I definitely need to up the mileage and I'm gonna do that this week because Mountain Blanc's in, on July 1st and I need to get my mountain legs back. I'm doing Mount Washington as well in two weeks. Uh, you know, to tell you the truth, it's not, it's probably not gonna be a sub 60, like I've gone sub 60 before, just once at Mount Washington, but it's a race I love to do. It's kind of why I did some of the treadmill work. Oh yeah, and the treadmill workout uphill for an hour on Saturday at 13% grade. That's very specific to Mount Washington. Uh, and part of the reason I did it too was on Saturday, the trails get so crowded around here. Uh, it's kind of a zoo at Chautauqua Park, as well as the fact is my legs are beat up. I didn't want a ton of downhill pounding yet. I'm gonna need that for Mount Blanc. It's still a net uphill race, but I know what I'm getting into this year for Mount Blanc. I need to run high mileage, I need to train for a mountain marathon with a lot of climbing, some steep technical descents, fast descents, fast paced running against some of the best guys in the world. So it's gonna be really competitive. I'm looking forward to it. Definitely need to get the mileage up. Probably try to hit 100 miles a week, 160K per week, and then boost the climbing a tad, maybe 15,000, 18,000 feet of climbing put that in meters but still doing some high intensity workouts shorter reps and uh, some up tempo long run mountain efforts uh, for this coming week so you know goals accomplished i feel recovered from zagama pretty much not totally uh, i feel like i'm slowly getting my mountain legs back just trying to stay healthy trying to stay lean uh enjoying the hot sunshine here in boulder in the summer uh just having fun with it but being serious focused for this mountain season Mount Blanc Marathon, next big focus. Still want to do well at Mount Washington though. Uh, I think it'll be a good tune-up. Last year, I made the mistake of focusing too much on Mount Washington, and I ran decent there, under 61 minutes, got second place, but uh, it kind of sold my Mount Blanc Marathon performance short. It was also only a week turnaround last year. This week, it's two weeks, so a lot better. Uh, the mistake I made last year, I didn't do any long runs in the mountains. I didn't do any 20 mile mountain long runs before Mount Blanc. So this year I've already done that. So I race the Gama, but I'll also do some long runs, higher mileage, high training, mountain marathon training basically. So that's kind of the idea. But thanks so much for subscribing on here, for following along, really appreciate it. All the support, hearing how your training's going. It's great to hear, especially success stories on the stagerunning.com training plans, people getting DQs, going sub three. Uh, finishing their first 100k or 50k ultra marathon things like that really great to hear your stories really appreciate the patreon support thanks to my title sponsor poco 11 shoes for any service any distance i uh, hope your running's going well stay tuned for more via 2 max productions yeah i'm running down a dream it never would come to me working on a mystery going wherever it leads